Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and welcome to my kids back to school haul. Um, I'm so excited to be back in filming if you have never seen me before. Um, I make a lot of plus size fashion, lifestyle, decor, mommy content, beauty, all that type of stuff. So I'd love it if you stuck around. Um, and if you haven't followed me already, already, follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. I will have that linked down below as well. Um, I'm on those pretty regularly, especially Instagram. So if you wanna contact me, um a bit quicker and talk to me on there and if you're wondering where i've been go hit me up on instagram because i am there quite regularly um but i took a little bit of a summer break i just i it's been three months since i uploaded and to be totally honest with you i've tried to come back time and time again so i don't want to make a ton of excuses i took a little bit of break after Honestly, the new year, um, after all of my holiday and Christmas content, I was just kind of hit or miss. Things got crazy, we got COVID, and it was just like thing after thing after thing after thing, and I just was burnt out. Um, summer came and I was like, okay, I'm gonna film all of this stuff. But you know what? It's really hard <laughs> to film when you have school-age kiddos. I just feel like they need a lot more entertainment and a lot more attention and just like i wanted to spend time with them and hang out and have a fun summer and that's what we did we got COVID a second time again um life has been a little bit crazy a little bit hectic but i just felt like i needed a little bit of a break i felt like a lot of my friends here on youtube who are also creators also just felt the burnout i feel like by the like tail end of last year into this year and a lot of us have just needed Bit of a rest but i've missed you guys and i can't wait to get back to start filming again my kids will be in school monday through friday in just a couple of days and so i felt like i might have a lot of free time by myself now and what way to better keep me company than for you guys to hang out with me so um i'm excited to start getting in the habit of filming again i have a lot of really fun exciting content coming a lot of like fall stuff decorating all of that type of stuff and of course so many of you have checked in and uh dm me or messaged me emailed me all that type of stuff and asked if I will at least be doing my Christmas haul video uh, my all of my big Christmas holiday content and absolutely those are my favorite videos to film I would not miss it for the world so um, yeah I'm trying to get back in the swing of things and I'm just excited to start here um, and I hope you guys are too so if you guys are looking for some fun back to school content and prepping and ideas if you have little ones that are headed back to school soon or if you yourself are headed back to school and you just want to watch some of the back to school videos then you've come to the right place I'm excited to share with you what I got so if you've never seen me before if you need a fresh reminder I have two girls my oldest is Olive and she is seven and my youngest is Eleanor and she is five Eleanor will be going to kindergarten for the first time she'll be going into kindergarten going to big girl school for the first time <laughs> and Olive is going into second grade um, they will be at the same school together and I know they're both really really excited about that because before Eleanor was going to a pre-k program in a separate location and so she's so excited to go to school with her sister and um, it's the first time she'll be in school full time so she was doing pre-k for Monday Wednesday Friday last year and it was only a half day program and now she'll be in school Monday through Friday with her sister all day and she's really really excited about it so that means that we got to get supplies and get prepped and ready for school to start and so I'm going to share all the stuff that I got with you so I'm going to share their like school supplies some of their fun school supplies their backpacks lunch boxes all that stuff um, together and then I'm going to separate their clothes and show those separately um, for you guys so yeah, let's just uh, let's just get started. All right, a majority of their stuff this year came from most of their stuff actually came from Target or Walmart um, and Amazon. Um, Target had incredible, incredible sales during Prime Day. I got most of their clothes for like four bucks a thing. Like it was just such good sales, and. Walmart had some good stuff sales too. I feel like I, I did good this year. I didn't go crazy, I didn't go overboard. We still have a lot of clothes we can fit from last year. I'm trying to be a bit more frugal. I'm trying to be a bit more conscientious of my consumption um, and the space that we have. And so, yeah, life, you know, gosh darn it, the friggin' inflation. It hit us 
hard. So we're trying to be thoughtful about it. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna share backpacks first. Um, this year, Eleanor picked out this backpack. I tried to find um, some backpacks that we liked and that were good quality. I was struggling a little bit, but I found a bunch of really, really cute ones off the children's place that had really nice reviews. So I let the girls just go on there and look to see which one they liked and they picked the ones that they did. So Eleanor picked this one. It's pretty basic as far as like a basic backpack, nothing, no like frills and extra things. Um, but the print is nice and loud and <laughs> wild. It looks like a bunch of like little squishies, and desserts and treats, totally up Eleanor's alley. Again, just pretty basic, but perfect for her, especially going to kindergarten. She just needs something easy. Um, two little side pockets that mesh will be perfect for her water bottles and snacks and then just like a basic you know main zip interior pocket nothing nothing crazy um so that's eleanor's ollie picked one that was a little bit more fancy um she picked this one again from children's place it says be kind on it um with like little glitter heart um then down here has like a nice front pocket that snaps snap closure it's nice and big too and in it has has like a bunch of scatter sequins. Very ASMR. And a little pom pom uh, keychain up front. And that was hers. Really cute. I both got them on sale. I only ever buy stuff at Children's Place if it's on sale, which is typically always on sale. I've been very happy with the Children's Place for the past couple years that I've been shopping there. And so far, so good those turned out really cute all right now as far as the lunch boxes we just got basic ones at walmart we were just shopping for school supplies we found these and they came home with us um and we got the ones from the arctic zone these were under ten dollars um they seem really nice and sturdy um i like the fact that they had a little buckle so they can strap them on their backpacks if they wanted to um and yeah they came with a free ice pack inside nothing too crazy i think they will fit their bento boxes just fine eleanor picked out this tie-dye print and ollie picked out this really pretty butterfly one i loved the butterfly i love the tie-dye very fitting for both my kids and perfectly matches their backpack their backpacks which i don't think they had picked them out and they picked these out first so moving on the girls needed new head or they needed headphones this year um and so ollie apparently needs two i only bought one so far if i need to buy two i'll buy it a later date i feel like that's ridiculous right now to be like two headphones during the school year hopefully these work for a while um they needed them to have mics as well so i found these off of amazon they were like recommended from butafalaki but uh, honestly no idea they were recommended on amazon um they can go on xbox ps4s nintendo switches phones ipads and notebooks and computers so um, quite a number of different things and they come in a bunch of different colors obviously ollie if you can't already tell a theme loves the color pink so she chose these baby pink ones and just a little mic in the front basic headphones hopefully they last okay they had good reviews they don't die within like the first three weeks um i know that they use these a lot for like testing and for um computer literacy stuff so hoping that these go and last well um eleanor also needed some headphones this year but she didn't need a mic so she picked out these ones which are just like purple and like teal or aqua colored um also from amazon also had some pretty decent reviews i was just gonna buy a couple of pairs from walmart but i figured like that they wouldn't last very long so i'm glad that i picked these ones just cute little headphones and they like fold up nicely as well so to try to put those back in probably later all right water bottles so we already we still have some water bottles that we can use from last year but some of our original ones they are no longer usable so i needed to get at least another bottle because i like for them to have i mean they use them every single day and just so we can have multiple in case they forget some you know you know the drill so i found these off of amazon um during prime day they were on sale they are from the brand uh vimney 
I honestly have no idea, but you can, they have so many stainless steel water bottles on Amazon um, that are like dupes for the Hydro Flask. This is Olive's. She picked the one that was baby pink. I think this is in the color Flamingo, if I remember correctly. Um, but they, they feel like really nice and sturdy. I, hopefully they keep their water cold and do a good job and don't leak. Um, and I got her the 18 ounce one because she's a lot better at hydrating herself than her sister and she'll go through multiple water bottles throughout the day and so i just want to um for her to have a little bit bigger of a one than last year eleanor i got the 12 ouncer which will be perfect for her and just at least not seem so um intense to drink but hopefully if i can get her at least to drink two of these at school will be golden but hers um she picked this really pretty it's i think this was called like unicorn and it's a really pretty ombre it looks even better in person um ombre color and i really like it a lot they feel nice and sturdy so fingers crossed they work well and they don't get like all rusty and nasty um and they just have like a little silicone silicone spout and those are their little water bottles so i like them a lot they look really pretty all right, as far as school supplies go, I'm probably not going to share their school supplies, like everything I got them, because it's pretty standard and boring. Like, you don't need to see all my Crayolas and all that stuff. But I will share a couple of the things that were a little bit more fun. So this year, each girl obviously needed a, like, pencil box. So I got this one from Pen & Gear from Walmart. There's a bunch of, like, glitter confetti sprinkles all over it. This is Eleanor's. And then I got a bunch of, they're supposed to be, like, waterproof stickers from Amazon that you're supposed to put on water bottles. But let me tell you, these things do not want to stick for the life of me. Granted, that's like not on an even surface, so it makes sense. But if you have any way, any good suggestions on helping them stay, let me know. But the girls decorated their little back to school boxes with some fun stickers. And then these were Ollie's. Ollie's needed like a giant back to school box um, and all of her fun stickers that she put on and collaged herself and then it holds all of her supplies so so exciting pencil cases and then i do want to share these scissors because they're so cute these are for eleanor to pick these out and they're like little like emojis almost like ice cream cones and desserts i just thought they were so cute sometimes like you bring supplies in there for the whole class and so they're not specifically for your kid and so you don't get to put their name on them and then other things stay in their own pencil box and I'm really hoping that her stay in the pencil box <laughs> because they were so cute plus they were like three times expensive but I just couldn't resist anyway um I did get the rest of the pack of giant amount of stickers um these were meh but they're from Amazon you get a ton of them um, and then for Ollie, I originally thought she just needed basic earbuds and so we were going to put her earbuds in here and just attach it, but instead it, she needed like full-fledged headphones with a microphone. So this will just be for a fun little backpack charm, but this was from Walmart. She picked this out a little butterfly, but it matches perfectly with her lunchbox. So it's so cute. So I don't know what she's going to put in here. Maybe some hand sanitizer. Maybe her masks for that day she can put in here. It's actually a really good idea. Maybe she'll show off her little mask in here um, throughout the day. Um, and then for Eleanor, just to jazz up her lunch or her backpack, I got these really cute pins, um, backpack pins. And so they have like a little pizza with hearts, a little, um, can you see these? A little pizza with hearts, a little roller skate, and then a little smiley face with a flower and an ice cream cone. I just thought these were cute and kind of fun to jazz up her backpack. They were only a dollar each from Walmart. I love the pin and gear line. I feel like their supplies are really nice and they last well and they're inexpensive. The last bit of like supply stuff before we move on to their clothes. Um, I Every single year when my kids are in school, I get a new folder for myself. So I get like a nicer, cute folder um, that I can keep all of their papers that they bring home that I need to keep that have like information, contact information, rules, all that stuff in. And at the end of the year, then I clean it out and keep what I want to keep for memories and throw the rest um, or recycle the rest and throw like whatever, you know, if there's like glue bits and stuff, whatever needs to be discarded, be discarded. Um, and then I keep like a lot of their really pretty art pieces and stuff in the folders from last year. And then we store those for like memories. So this year I picked up two new folders. Um, I just feel like this is the easiest for me. It's like the most low level prep work that I need to do <laughs> and it helps me stay organized. So I found these from again, Pen and Gear. This one just has a bunch of smiley faces on it. <laughs> this is for Eleanor. Um, and then Ollie's, I'm obsessed 
with gosh darn check everything. I want it in everything. Um, and hers is like just like holographic checks. So um, these were super inexpensive from Walmart and that those will be their um, special folders. Now, since Eleanor is going into kindergarten, she will need her class of 2035 shirt. So I got this for Eleanor and it's like a milestone grade shirt. So each year you take a picture on the first day of school of them wearing the shirt and the last day to see how much they've grown. And then by their senior year, it's supposed to like fit them better. Um, you can just see them grow into it. I just, I, such a cheese ball, but it's so something that I would love. So Olive has one. So this year I got Eleanor's. It was like $13 or so on Amazon. That's where I got Olive's as well. It says class of 2035 and it's just so cute. So, um, you know, you kind of have to guess like size wise. I think this is just like a women's extra large. Um, so we'll see what, you know, I don't, I don't know what she'll look like obviously when she is a senior in high school, but I wanted to make sure that, um, we can just like watch her grow into it. I'm so excited about it. I think it'll be so cute. And obviously style's gonna change and she may think this is like so cringy and like the least cute thing in 10 years or 12 years, but you know, for right now it's cute. <laughs> so um, that is her grade shirt, her class of shirt. Let's move on to their clothes. All right, so I'm just gonna break it down by kid. Um, let me start off by clarifying, and I have to say this in every back to school video, but Olive has more clothes, and that is simply just because she's older and grows out of things um, and doesn't have any ones to grow into. So Eleanor has a ton of Olive's clothes that she can still fit, and in the effort to save money and not waste things, and because Eleanor still loves everything that Olive has, she has a ton of stuff already ready to wear that's Olive's stuff. So technically, we added everything together, Eleanor has more. Um, but yes, and I also tried not to go super crazy this year because they still have clothes that they can wear from last year and I'm, I don't need to just buy stuff to buy stuff. I'm trying to learn, it's a hard thing for me. So, but I do have a couple of things that I'm really excited to share with you because they're super cute. First, I'm gonna share with you their back to school outfits. Um, I got these off of Kohl's and actually my mom got these off of Kohl's um, and we got these, they both have the same shirt um, they're these just cute little school supply tees. I love the first day of school tees, but they grow. They can't rewear it again because they grow out of it, um, unless we got a way bigger size. Um, and so I like this because it's something that they can wear throughout the year. And that's not like, oh, first day of school. Just cute school supplies on it. It has like cute little words. Um, and then they each have a little skirt. So this one was Eleanor's. And then Eleanor has this little scooter skirt also from Kohl's. And it matches the purples and stuff in the shirt, um, but it has little shorts underneath it, so it's perfect for her to wear to school. And then Eleanor, or Ollie has the same um, shirt, which is the bigger size, and then she has a hot pink um, skirt. And then I, got, I found these from Target, and they're like a pack of socks that are like school supplies themed. So it's like a pack of like number two pencils. They have ones that have little apples on them, ones that look like notebook paper, and then like school supplies. I just thought these were so cute and would look so cute with a little school supply or school uh, outfit. And then I also have like bows that have like pencils and crayon looking ones that are gonna go in their hair. So that is their back to school outfit. They're gonna be so gosh darn cute. Something easy and comfortable for them to wear the first day of school, but still on theme, because <laughs> that's what I like to do. All right, let's just get started with Olive um, because she has more. So uh, we got these on sale at Walmart. They're just Wonder Nation leggings. I think they were on sale for like six bucks, um, but they're just really cute, stretchy, patched leggings that have some floral embroidery and like a little love on it. Just cute and easy for her to wear. She doesn't wear a lot of like jeans um, because she, she has really tiny little legs. Um, and they just don't fit quite right. Um, but every so often we find a good pair and these were cute and they work well on her. Also from Wonder Nation, I got her a pack of these or a pair of these leggings. Again, you're gonna see a lot of checks because it's all I want. So I have a habit of buying it for my children. So a pair of cute black and white check leggings and then also um, these pair of little meow meow, little cats 
my olive is obsessed with cats like obsessed with cats so um we have a little pair of this and my mom actually also got a dress in this exact same print that's also from um wonder nation from walmart that's just like a little skater dress so she'll have that to wear too um okay <laughs> those didn't really have any tops or anything to go with them but the rest of them typically are all outfits that's my biggest tip when shopping for school clothes is to make outfits out of everything you buy rather than just buying like oh buy five shirts and this or what that like put an outfit together and be like this goes with this it'll just be super easy for them to help like pull out their clothes and dress themselves in the morning uh, but it also it's just so much easier so you know you have exactly the same amount of things for the same amount of like same amount of tops or same amount of bottoms and you know things that go together perfectly rather than be like oh I love all these tops I'm sure she has these pants and shorts or whatever I'll just buy a bunch of these tops I've done that so many times in the past and it's failed me every time so like if you buy a top buy a bottoms that go with it or pull them out of the closet or whatever if you already have them just know like okay this is going together so much easier so that being said um this is her first little set i got this really cute um shirt for like three or four bucks it was on sale from target this is from cat and jack um when they were having their big sales and it just says you have so much good in you and i just thought it was so sweet i love all the fun like shapes and the colors is like this periwinkle purple and um i originally got it for these leggings um to kind of go together kind of find like fun like y2k vibes but ollie does not like them together so we'll have to figure that one out but again the check pants because i have a problem um i got her a pair of these both of these are actually a little bit too big on her i sized up to a medium which is a seven eight um and even though she's about to be eight she's still super small so it's kind of big and baggy on her but she'll grow into it eventually um i also picked up to go with these leggings, if she doesn't want to wear that, I got this just basic white tee. She has a bunch of these that we wear under dresses that she can't wear during the school year that are spaghetti strapped and stuff like that. But I also got this art class sweater vest. It is so soft. It feels like butter. It's not itchy or heavy at all. It's like super lightweight and it is so cute. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute in it. So I actually got that to go with these leggings well technically it was this but then she was like no i like this better so she's doing that outfit um but it's so cute i i want like a blanket in this material it's so soft um next thing from target is i got these really this i got two of these types of shirts they're like ribbed um i don't even know what this material is it's kind of like silky and satiny I don't know but it's stretchy it's really really lightweight and nice and breathable um but this has just like a fun marble design these colors scream lizzie mcguire to me and i love it and i had to get it for that reason this just screams lizzie mcguire which was like my jam i was so into hillary duff obsessive it was a problem like the olsen twins and hillary duff were my idols um i mean arguably still are i still love me some hillary duff and some olsen twins um, anyway, I digress. I got this, um, and I got these, which also make me think of another childhood icon, which were Kim Possible, and they're, like, these adorable cargo pants, and they have, like, little pockets on the side, singed little joggers at the bottom. These are, like, you know, cool and hip these days, and I want a pair for myself, but I got them to go together, and if she doesn't look like she should just walk on the set of Liz McGuire, I don't know what else would i love it so freaking cute both of these things were from art class and i will have them linked below but i love them so cute all right next i got this little set to go together matching the cords um and this is from cat and jack and it says have a creative curious and kind day the cute little smiley face on the side again so gosh darn cute and then the matching leggings that have like these like kind of like rough little polka dots all over them um just looks and screams like fall and coziness i love this is one of my favorite colors and then i got it to go with this sweater this cardigan which she could wear with so many other things um this was another item from cat and jack and it's just this really cute 
like big gold Versailles cardigan, but I sized up to a medium and it's huge, <laughs> huge. She loves it, but I have a fear that it's gonna like stretch throughout the day because that's that type of like loose knit. Um, I really want to size down to a small, but she really likes this size, but it looks very cute with this. It looks like just this cute, cozy fall ensemble. I can't imagine wearing a sweater right now because it's like 110 outside, but soon enough, she'll be able to wear it. Um, next, I got this really cute little, again, spaghetti strap um, dress. Like I said, she has a lot of little white tees to already go underneath it. Um, this is again from art class, but it's nice and long on her, um, but she'll just wear like little shorts, biker shorts underneath it, and the white shirt underneath it as well. And I just think it's so cute. And it has like cinches at the bottom. Oh my gosh, it looks so adorable on her too. So I got that. I'm trying to like get all the Target clothes out so it's easier for you guys to see where everything's coming from. All right, this next set, um, these are little shorts from art class. And they're like flowy, I don't even know what to, how to describe this material. It's like that wrinkly material. Um, I just think they're so gosh darn cute and like 70s. I actually got this for our trip this summer, but we didn't get to wear it. <laughs> um, and so I'm just gonna smash it all together with her back to school stuff. Technically, she's not supposed to wear a shirt like this. So I think I'm actually gonna, this is gonna be her, um, Meet the teacher outfit. I just think it's really cute and still really fun and summery, um, but you know, looks cool for back to school. Um, so, but it's just this really cute, like tangerine, super soft tank top from art class with like this um, one shoulder design and cinch side. She looks so cute in it. Um, if you, you know, homeschool or if your school doesn't have a strict of dress code policies or whatever, I would recommend these. They're really, really cute, really comfortable and soft. Ollie really likes it. So, both of those came from Target as well. Um, I got these pair of art class little shorts, um, cut off shorts. Again, she has the little short, little tiny little legs. So these come down pretty far on her um, and they kind of give like a mom jean vibes, but they're very cute. And they're just like kind of distressed um, acid washed shorts. And then looking at this now, I feel like I bought Eleanor a ton of more shorts not enough for Ollie, so hopefully I may have to buy some more shorts for Ollie. Um, I also picked up these pair. These are from Cat and Jack, um, and they have embroideries on it, and just thought these were really cute and sweet as well. These are a bit longer. Um, they're kind of like a Bermuda on her, to be totally honest. Um, these are in the size small, and they're pretty big on her, but she'll be able to wear them for a while. And then I also got her a pair of these. I did wash these. She has worn these before, but I'm putting them in her back to school um, pile because she's only worn them once. But they were from Wonder Nation. They're these cute little cargo shorts and they're super comfortable on her and she really likes them. And so I'm putting those so I don't forget them in her back to school pile. Um, to go with those little acid washed shorts, we have this really cute, um, She's also worn this for a special occasion as well already, but this really cute little button down that has like checks on it and it's just so cute on her. Um, it's just a basic little button down, but it's adorable. Um, it looks really cute with the black shorts. And then we also have one of these little shirts again, again from art class. That's like the little marble one. It has like this crisscross loophole in the front. This one's butterflies and those can go with one of those pairs of shorts. And then, again with the checks, guys, <laughs> I told you. Um, this, I think I got too big of a size for her. It looks very big. I haven't had her try this one on because this one just came in last. Um, so I'm gonna need a size down, but it's just really pretty. Again, the same pattern of those leggings that I got, um, but flowy little dress. Just think it's really fun. It's a little bit more bold in person than it's coming off on camera. All right. Oh my gosh. The last two things from Target, I got these, these really comfortable little um, terry cloth shorts. They went with actually a little spaghetti strap shirt, but she won't be able to wear that because it's too thin to put a shirt underneath it. Um, I mean, I guess actually we could try that, but 
I don't know what we'll wear with these. Maybe just a comfy day, you know, with a cute little graphic piece that we have. Um, but they're super soft. Eleanor has a pair that are like orange, which I thought were in here, but I can't find them now. She wears it with the big graphic tee and it's one of her favorite outfits. And so I need to find the cute graphic tee that matches this, um, but just for easy days. And then she picked um, up this little Pikachu t-shirt from Target. Um, my brother bought it for them. It was like an impulse, like pick up a fun graphic tee. And she picked up Pikachu. So that is that. Okay, moving on. These are the last few items. These, the rest of these are from Kohl's. So um, we have this set, which the both girls have, and it's matching. If you can't tell, my oldest loves butterflies. So we have this really cute scooter skirt that has butterflies on it. These are from the line um, Jumping Beans from Kohl's. We really like that line. Um, it's just really, really nice, beautiful skirt with like a little ruffle detail. I really like it. It was super inexpensive. It looks like it's way more expensive than it was. And then I got this little Wild Heart um, embroidered butterfly tee to match with it. It's ribbed and has like the lettuce trim and just looks so cute with it. It's really nice, really, really stretchy. Um, a bit big on her, but she'll have room to grow. And then we got this one, which is a bit more of like a play skirt, but it's also a scooter skirt from Jumping Beans. And it's this pretty like mustard color with all this floral design. And then it has a matching shirt that we got that is a bunch of, or just a cat. Again, she loves cats. And when she saw this, she died. She was so excited about it. Um, this is, I mean, if I could put Ollie on a shirt, this is it. Um, this is her personality through and through and she loves it. So she looks so cute in them. So that is that. And then lastly, um, for all, no, I'll share those after Eleanor. I'll share those after Eleanor. All right, lastly for shoes, I just ordered all of a pair of combat boots from Children's Place that are so cute. I'll put up a picture, but they're not in yet. I think I also will need to get a couple of like little ballet flats for them. I totally spaced and didn't get them. Um, we only have sneakers and some like sandals, but they'll get wood chucks in their shoes from recess. So I need to buy a couple of <laughs> ballet flats. But other than that, we're done. Um, these are a cute little pair of Ollie's sneakers for the school year. They're just basic white sneakers with like perforated star on the side. They're just really cute. We'll go with everything. Or just a sweet little pair of white sneaks. These were from the brand uh, Thereabouts from Kohl's, I believe, or JCPenney's, one or the other. My mom actually picked these up for Olive. I think Kohl's. Nope, JCPenney's. Um, and they were really, really cute. So those are her little shoes and sneakers. And like I said, more will be on the way, but I haven't gotten to them yet. All right, let's move on to Eleanor and then I'll share the fun seasonal goodies. All right, like I said, Eleanor has a few less items than Olive, um, so this won't take very long. But we have her little pair of little jeggings, um, also from Wonder Nation, and they have like a bunch of hearts on them. They look really cute. They're comfortable, easy. She has super long legs like her dad, and so she grows out of like pants really quickly. So we'll see how long those last on her. Um, we also, oh, Olive had this too, and I don't know where it is, but my mom found these at Target. They were originally $15 and were on the clearance for $4.50, and they're just like sweet little lightweight cardigans, which are perfect for the school year when she has like things, you know, if she wants to put a little bit of a layer on if it's not too cold outside, but just a little bit of like a chill, um, or if she has spaghetti strap shirts or whatever, she can just put these on top and it just goes with everything. So we found these really cute cream colored cardigans for $4.50 at Target. Um, I got her a pair of the checkered leggings because I couldn't resist. And I also got her a pair of the purple checkered leggings because I couldn't resist. The shirt she has to go with them is this one from Cat and Jack that says best friends. And they're just giving little pinkies. Oh. Pinky promises. Oh, I just think it's so cute. So that is Eleanor's to go with hers. Um, she also has this shirt from Cat and or Art Class. Um, these ones run really, really small. This is actually a size small, six, six X, and it it I mean it fits her, but like still like it it is like extra extra small. They run really, really small. 
my hair is over everything. Um, but it was really cute, fun and bright in tie-dye, which she loves. So we got that for her. We got this little mock neck tee from Cat and Jack from Target. It looks so cute on her and she just got a little bob. She is gonna look so gosh darn stylish and chic. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this is the shirt, but we actually got these pair of shorts from Walmart that were on clearance for I think $6, $11, but I think they came down to six when we rung them up. Um, and they have little patches all over them. Cali, Justice, little palm tree, and a little smile on the face with a rainbow up here. And this looks so cute together. So um, that's that little option. I love it. With like a hot pink clip or something. Oh my gosh. So cute. Okay. I'm sorry I'm saying cute so much. Next we got this. No, I'll save this for the end. I'm trying to do the same store so it's easier to follow. I got this little set. This was her like little summer set again, but she didn't get a chance to wear it. So we'll probably put a little white t-shirt underneath it. But it's this little two-piece matching set from Art Class from Target. I can't. The checkers, guys. It's so cute. And it comes with this like little skirt. This may be what she wears to meet the teacher. Um, because it's so gosh darn adorable. Super soft. So cute. Um, we have biker shorts we put under everything, by the way, just to clarify. Um, they don't ever go to school with just like little skirts and dresses on. It's actually part of the dress code. So that, I actually just ordered a pack of like six or seven of those from Walmart. We get them from Wonder Nation and they should be here within the next couple days. All right. I got her an, also a little white tee to go under clothes. This is super thin and just really easy to go under shirts or, and dresses and stuff that need to be um, within the school dress code. I got her this really cute little like overall jumper thing. Um, I sized up to a small and it's huge on her right now, but it's that like rayon fabric that's gonna shrink like crazy. So I sized up for that purpose, but she looks so cute in it. And they had a couple different colors, but the like green cheetah just screamed Eleanor. So that's that. Again, I got all of these clothes on like incredible clearance and sales during the um prime day deals next i got this little dress um that i'm going to put a little white shirt underneath it just looks like a fun cute summer dress i don't know this screams back to school to me and i don't know why it makes me think of miss honey from matilda or something i don't know it just seems the 90s or like um it takes two and before um she goes to meet the like foster care family that wants to i don't know adopt her or foster her she has like her doc martens and then like the fun like white and blue and red little dress that's probably why i got it <laughs> it's so cute anyway um i got her like three pairs of shorts from cat and jack just pretty much all of the same ones just different colors so Yes, those are her three pairs of shorts. Again, she'll have a harder time with dress code because her legs are so long that everything looks a lot shorter on her. Whereas Ollie, they look like Bermuda shorts. Eleanor's, they look like short shorts. So it's gonna be fun maneuvering. Um, with one of those pairs of shorts, she has this really cute little ribbed um, stretchy shirt from art class from Target. It has like an embroidered little smiley face patch on it. Really cute. She picked out a graphic tank with my brother that was Sailor Moon. So that's just like a fun, easy shirt to wear. And then from Walmart, she picked this little leopard cheetah dress, which we always get these play dresses. This is actually a 5T, but it's pretty long on her. Um, we love the play dresses in the taller sections, only $4.98, and it's just so cute. It has little pockets in the front, um, and she gets like at least one of these every single year. Um, and this one was the one she picked this year. Very adorable. And then lastly, her things from Kohl's. She also got the same butterfly skirt and wild heart top. And then she got this little dress from Jumping Bean. And it's this really pretty um, 
unicorn dress. She actually has one that has butterflies on it from the same line and same cut. Um, and I don't know where it is, but it this cut looks so beautiful on her. It fits her frame so well. So um, I really recommend this style from Jumping Bean. So cute and really nice little fun, easy school play dresses. Last thing are Eleanor shoes. So um she picked these out from target they're from cat and jack she loves the look of like sporty sneakers um and these like look like little rainbow sherbet they're super cute um and they do i believe light up don't they yes they light up so totally up her alley well now i can't get them to light up anyway um comfortable i think they had pretty good reviews online but we got them in store um and yeah so those are her like fun little sneakers as well she has a lot of shoes that she could still wear um that were olives but they grow out of shoes like crazy all right so the very last thing i'm going to share with you is seasonal stuff some fun goodies that i have got at um Target and Kohl's and I did place an order also uh, with Children's Place because they have a bunch of really cute fun seasonal things and I got some fun Halloween PJs. I'll probably go back a little bit later to get some more goodies. Um, when it comes to seasonal things, typically if I see it, I will get it then because they sell out and then you can't get your hands on it. So if you like to dress your kids up in like some fun seasonal festive items, I definitely, if you see it in store, especially places like walmart and target buy it because then it's gone um and so we got we're just adding on to our already very vast seasonal collection uh to be totally frank and honest with you it's gonna happen for eleanor this year too but um ollie last year and what i've done pretty much since she started going to school was the whole month of october the two weeks before christmas Valentine's Day, all that stuff. Um, they will wear a seasonal outfit every single day to school until the holiday. Um, the longest, obviously, was Halloween. We had a full 31 days of that sucker. Well, minus the weekends. Um, but that took a lot. So Halloween is normally ones I really got to stock up on because the other ones are like two weeks and stuff and then we're good. Um, so I'm going to share with you the couple of ones that I picked up already. I found these cute ghosty shirts my mom actually picked these up we were together shopping and she got these for the girls but we found them um, at target and they're like flip sequins and just really cute um my kids are wanting to play beanie boos together anyway so this is um theirs and then i think you're gonna have them wear it with the little black and white little check pants that are from walmart and then olive we got this adorable little cat one with all these different pumpkins and it's kind of shiny um again she loves cats and we got matching pants to go with that um and then eleanor we got this one from kohl's it's tie-dye and fun flippy sequins as well um and yeah so that is that. Like I said, I already placed an order for uh, Children's Place for some really cute ghost PJs that I will have probably already popped up on the screen. Um, but that'll do it, friends. That is the back to school haul prep, all of it. I mean, it's not prepped. I gotta finish prepping in a little bit. But um, for those of you who are looking for some good back to school items, I hope I um, gave you some good ideas. So. It was fun this year. I feel like as the girls have gotten older, it's been really fun to kind of like, as they have created their own little unique style for themselves um, and what they really like versus what their sister likes and all of those things. It's been really fun to kind of like for them to figure it out. Um, and it's so fun to shop for like little girls clothes because I feel like they just keep getting cuter and cuter and cuter as they get keep getting older. And the style is just so cute right now. I love it. So it's been fun to kind of reminisce in like the Y2K fashions and all of that type of stuff that was like popular when I was a kid in the 90s clothes and all of that stuff. It's so fun to do that with them and I hope that they are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, but that is it. So I hope that you got some good ideas. Um, and for those of you who are sending little ones going, uh, 
sending little ones back to school this year if you're a teacher or if you yourself are going to school this year i hope that you have a really safe and really fun and healthy and memorable year this year um, i know that there it's scary um, time right now and for so many parents for so many kids and students and teachers it's such a scary world in such a scary unknown but i just pray and hope that you have a really wonderful year this year um and it's just a lot of fun and m super memorable um and keep an eye out because after this we get some fall decor i'm so excited to decorate i'm so ready i have some new stuff this year some good returning oldies and I can't wait to share it with you guys and decorate along with you. So that is it. I'm done. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.